Good morning, good afternoon, good evening again. I, I have the privilege of being able to work with some really great real estate people. Uh, and one of the companies uh, is in Perth, is the Able Property Group. Now, this company has gone through a transition from where they were beforehand to now, and they've rebadged into the Able Property Group. And they've been able, in a period of about six weeks, basically re-identify their company. So aside from all the logistical issues that go along with that, what they've been able to do is they've been able to get everybody on the same level of thinking. So they've used the Pied Piper example and they've just taken it to another level. So they've rebadged and re-logoed and done all that sort of thing, but they've also got out into the marketplace. And one of the things that I say to you real estate people, no matter what your brand is, when people buy a real estate agent, Think about it in this light. Why don't you sell people on a result and not a service? Tell people how good you are, tell people what you will do for them, and tell them that when they buy you, they buy a result, they don't buy a service, because anyone can buy a service, but people use a real estate agent to buy a result. And the Able Property Group in Perth are very much on that, on that line of thinking. They are very results driven, and do a very, very good job over there. And the reality of it is that their company expansion program is really built on the basis that they are a results-driven company, not a service-driven company. Their service is excellent, but they are results-driven. Vendors and landlords, what do they want? They want a result. When do they want it? They want it now, right? They're impatient. So therefore, market coverage is very, very important. So when we're looking at people wanting to employ us, be a results-driven real estate agent like the Able Property Group, you will find that people will come to you and every success that you have will breed another one. And that's called networking because after you've had success, people need to know what you're doing and doing well. So therefore, it's your job to get it out in the marketplace. And whether it's through you know, multimedia and all the different uh, scenarios that that encompasses today, or whether it's with letter drops or whether it's with boards, whatever it might be, in short, if you don't tell people what you're doing well and people aren't telling other people what you're doing well for them, you can't really get a move on. So the first thing is be a results-driven real estate agent. Let people know that you are a results-driven real estate agent right? and make sure that you get the message out because your job is to be a human being that actually encompasses other human beings and, let, and lets them know what you're doing really well. Otherwise, you can't get more business. So you need to be in mindfulness of that and you need to make sure that other people are aware of what you do, who you are, and every encounter that you have, that you leave that person better for having dealt with you. And one way to do that is let them know what you're doing. It's always a great topic of discussion when you ask someone what they do for a living or if they're, as I've used the example before, making a cup of coffee, get chatty with the person making the coffee for you, whatever it might be, buying a sandwich, whatever. You need to have a discussion about your employment 25 times a day. Let people know who you are and what you're doing. Be results driven. Good luck.